Hello everyone, Lord Victorino here, and what I'm going to demonstrate right now is uh, Sean Wood's Merlin 1000 um, with it hooked up to my LaserCon board, in which I did have to Dragons upgrade the Slayer. firmware just to the let you know. You and this is the show off quest to rescue the fair uh, princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. The ROM selection menu you that you can now access from the demo right now. Uh, so right now I am uh, using the F2 ROMs. That's what it is. As you can hear, you can hear the narrator and the uh, sound. The background sound. And there's a reason I'm mentioning that. Because basically, the way I have the dip switch set up right now is if I play a Dragon Slayer Enhancement, either a standard or prototype, it will cause the narrator to be muted. So that's why I'm bringing that up right now. And that's kind of important because this was the last thing Sean had to fix in this. Because the mute, uh, basically, the toggle mute was, was a problem that when you switch the ROMs it would either switch it over and wouldn't reset itself Dragon's or if you were playing a game a it would have it during the, the, the demo right. but Quest you couldn't hear Daphne go help me and whatever during those certain player. scenes. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to hold down sword and press left or fire button and press left depending on uh, which control panel you have for four seconds. And it brings up the menu. As you can see Dragon's Lair F2 now, uh, you can also do Space Ace, but you have to change the laser disc, which you can easily do by hitting the reject button and actually swapping the laser disc in the laser disc player. Uh, I'm using uh, the laser con, just like I said before, and my 4200 laser player, so it does the on screen uh, programming. Now, you can use it with a regular uh, LDV 1000, uh, but, and you'll have to use the scoreboard to select it. It just doesn't have the on screen programming, but that's okay. But, anyways, let's, uh, let's go uh, enhancement prototype animation. Let's try that. And look how quick and easy it, it switches over. I mean, look at this. And as you can tell, there's no narration. Now what I'll do is I go back and let's go to Dragon Enhancement uh, Standard. And as you can tell, there's no narration there. Now let's do it again. Uh, go to F2 ROMs. Dragon's Lair. And as you can hear, it has the narration. Where you become a valiant knight on a so, quest to rescue the back again. from the clutches of it. I mean, it's like three games in one. Just the Dragon's Lair ROM. That's three games, three different games. Uh, let's go and do this one again. And let's go ahead and cut the game and just do a little test play. And this is uh, Dragon's Lair Enhancement, um, you know, with the prototype animation, so you can tell that. I mean, it mixes in so the prototype animation take over the scenes that, uh, for the standard stuff. I'm just quickly going through it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you can hear, there was the Save Me by Daphne, so that proves that uh, the narrator part is done. I'm just going to die here. Uh, so that means that that channel is activated during gameplay, so that's working properly. I just want to get back to the demo so you can see that the narrator is turned off. Just wanted to get that animation in. Okay. And as you can see, here it is once again with the narrator turned off. And I will do the four second thing again. Go ahead and do the F2 ROMs. 
Dragon's Lair. And there you go. Simple and easy. Really great. So that concludes this demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. And that's it. So take care. Bye-bye. The actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle of a dark wizard.